Hello students, uh, today I'm going to show you a few examples of how you can use your uh, graphing calculator to simplify square roots um, or a radical. Um, <clears throat> so what you do is um, on your uh, TI-84, um, 83 will work also. What you want to do is you want to go to y equals and let's say we want to simplify the square root of 96. What does that mean? Well, it means we're looking for a perfect square number that we can divide 96 um, by um, perfectly and then uh, the the um, uh, whatever the other number is uh, that's left over will stay inside the square roots, right? So you want to do is you want to do 96 divided by uh, x squared, right, because we're looking for the perfect square. And uh, you want to go to second graph to head to your table. Now, in your table, you want to ignore anything from zero down. So zero and all the negative numbers, right? Okay. Because you want to look for the perfect squares over here. And then on the y value, on the y column, will be the numbers that that's left over now we're not we can't have any decimals right so what we want to do is we want to look for the smallest whole value for the y okay so right here you can see it's a 96 a 24 and a 6 so 6 is the smallest right so if i were to simplify if if 6 is the smallest i mean i can scroll down and check to see if there's anything smaller but as you can see it, it get to it doesn't have anything past that, right? So this pair of number would be your answer. So the solution to this um, um, square root of 96 would be 4 square root of 6, right? So you would write your answer as 4 square root of 6. Now you can check that real quick. Um, if you put square root of 96 in here, it will give you a decimal, right? And if you type in 4 square root of 6, that's the one we simplified earlier, it should give you the exact same answer. So you know that 4 square root of 6 is the simplified version of square root of 96. All right, let's try another one. <clears throat> let's try square root of 216. Now, you, some of you guys might be able to do square root of 96 without technology. But when it, when the numbers get bigger, it, it's kind of like time consuming to sit there and, and think of all these uh, perfect squares that you will have to divide 216 by, right? So um, use your technology, okay? Use your technology to help you uh, speed up the problems a little bit. So we want to enter the number 216 and we want to divide by x squared, okay? And now we go to table, so second table. And then we scroll through, so starting at 1, we're going to scroll through here, and we're looking for the smallest y value, right? Let's see if there's any more smaller than 6. There doesn't look like anything that's smaller than 6 on the y value. So my answer for this would be 6 square root of 6. So 6 is the whole value that goes outside of the, the radical, and then the other 6 would be the number that's left inside the radical, right? So the, the solution, or the not solution, the simplified answer for the square root of 216 would be 6 square root of 6, and once again, I will prove that to you right here. Actually, I'm verifying it for you. So square root of 216 is a, it's a rash, rash, uh, uh, decimal numbers that repeats or doesn't repeat and it goes on forever. Um, and then uh, 6 square root of 6 was our simplified answer and it should be the exact same thing. Okay, and this is how you can verify whether your answer is correct or not. Guys, I hope this little trick helped you um, when you're doing your um, your math problems. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.